What's up, guys? It's Zed, and this is episode four of the FIFA 22 player career mode. And as usual, we are following Conrad Zahn's story to greatness. 12 goals in 11 match. Sorry, 11 goals in 12 matches with four assists is actually something to be really proud of in your first season. Not a lot of players get over 11 goals in their first season. First match of the episode is against RB Leipzig, and we are dying out there. Our uh, Stamina is really low, same as Royce, and Emery Chan is actually quite trying, but I promise you this match I'm going to like sub him out after halftime immediately, regardless of whatever happens. So we're just going to have to try our best to get the objectives. Now someone in the comment section said that we can pick just one of the objectives, and I'm not quite sure if we are ab able to do that because... I don't know, let's just see if if we can. To hold A to select an, an, an objective to enhance. Well, it doesn't actually say we can just... Yeah, it's not picking. Like, I have to hold it down to pick it. So... I honestly don't think we can just pick just one. So, there's that. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys after this match is over. And he takes it away. Zan. Dahoud. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a score. The ball with Cumber. Good bit of pressing. Delaney. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Disappointing for Leipzig to give us away like that. Zan. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Dangerous looking through ball. Oh, a good diving save. the short corner and he takes on the shot spectacular save top class goalkeeping and now the delivery now the attack fizzled out Dumfries and making his move inside oh it was close but he's put it over and it back Campo The first half here comes to an end. Andres Silva. Well, that's a good save, but really... Okay, so that is the end of the match. We are coming off for Erling Haaland. We're only able to get two out of the three objectives. We're, we're so close to getting the last shot on target. But, well, it didn't happen. Um, we end up losing that match 1-0. Two out of the three match objectives and my manager rating is has gone up. We are now at the top, top, almost at the top of the starting XI. And... Uh, well, to be honest, I actually didn't see how to pick just one objective to focus on. I think it's actually just the three of them because even here it says that, even here it shows you the three of them instead of the one you were supposed to pick. But I don't know again, like if you actually find a way to pick just one, please let me know so I'll start doing that because I can't really be trying to focus on all three of the objectives every single match. Next up is the match against VFB Stuttgart. We are side by side with Malin this time. I think that was how it was last time. But 
the good thing is that we're just coming back from international break and everybody is up to full health. So I might be able to play the full 90 minutes and try and get something out of this match. An 8.5 rating, complete 10 passes in the opponent's half and take 5 shots on target. I mean, this shouldn't be hard, I guess. So I should just try enhance this instead. So 8.5 objectives is really the main goal because I think that that's what actually keeps the manager liking you when you get the match rating that he asks for. So that's what we're going to be working on mainly on this match, that 8.5 rating. So let's hope that our team are able to actually keep a clean sheet so that we can actually not worry about the ratings dropping. So I'll talk to you guys after this match is over. Can he take advantage? Excellent defending, but the chance is still on. Let's see if something comes of this. Good-looking sequence. Perfect tackle. In position. Oh, a goal! It's gone in! The goalkeeper doesn't want to see a playback of that ever again. Here we can see it again, and it doesn't get any better, does it? That's just sloppy from the goalkeeper. That's a terrible goal to give away. Nice. And here's Delaney. Can they get in behind them? Strong play here. Well, possibilities in the centre. Has eyes for goal! Oh, he could have added to their advantage. Well, it was a decent Creative look about this. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And showing fine vision. Dahoud. Oh, surely. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Goal to let you know about in the Augsburg game with the details, Alex Scott. It's a goal for Bayern Munich. They've scored the opener with 33 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Oh, he's given it away. Is it going to be? And a goal here for Borussia Dortmund. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Additional minute. Really nice ball. Oh, he's through here. And he finds the man. Dahoud. Zan. Daniel Malen. And he's through here. Fruitful looking attack. Leaning back a bit, couldn't keep the shot. Well read to put an end to that attack. Counter-attacking, very much an option. A real opening now. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's not celebrating. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really... This attack looks highly promising. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Opportunity missed. During the final whistle, we can reflect on what has been a fabulous display by Dortmund. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The move. Oh, wait a minute. They could well be in. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal.
Philip Clement. Kalajic. All right, so that's it for the match. We did really, really good. I think we completed all of the objectives. I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember the last one, but we definitely smashed the 8.5 rating objective there. So I think this is the highest rating we have ever gotten. And of course, we are the man of the match. We got two goals. I think we got an assist. Oh no, we assisted the assister. Yeah, I guess you, I guess you could put it like that. So the manager is actually happy with us. We are the first name on the starting level right now so that is that is really good i mean it's still a bummer that the manager sold us to se braga and yes se braga apparently is in portugal not russia or ukraine so i that was my mistake thank you to the person that pointed that out to me there's a new name being chanted by the fans at dortmund as one of their less high profile players conrad zan has really stepped up to the mark and putting some big performances in recent games well, I'm not going to be in Dortmund for long anymore unless the manager somehow retracted the offer to sell me, which I doubt is which I doubt is possible. But I mean we're we're no longer a Dortmund player. Not yet official, but as soon as the transfer window opens, we'll be moving to SE Braga. That is that is really sad because Dortmund manager really made a huge mistake by selling us to SE Braga. I know that I should have been training, but I actually didn't know that training boosted the manager's ratings for us. Oh, well, I mean, it's happened. The manager has made a very huge mistake. We are already 17. Wow. I can't even remember the birthday I put for him. So, <laughs> well, that's something. Next up is the match against Latium, which is apparently Lazio. Retired, so we won't be playing the full match this time around. So let's just see what we can do with the objectives for this match and hopefully we can keep impressing the manager so that our SE Braga manager is going to put us straight to the starting eleven just because we are that good. Okay, so we have we have to get a 7.5 rating, take four shots on target, get a lead, get a team possession rate of at least 55. Well the team possession shouldn't really be here because That has to do with the team, not me. I mean, I'm going to do my part to try and keep possession, but the team also has to do their part. And to be honest, the AI really does fuck up sometimes. So that should that is an objective that really shouldn't be there. It's kind of unfair in my books. So anyway, let's see what we can do in this match. And can you see? Can you see that? They are, like, what was that? But anyways, anyways. Let's see what we can do in this match and talk to you guys after it's over. Vital interception. Brandt. Useful looking ball. Can they stop it going in? What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. So here is the table, and I was having a chat with some of the away fans ahead of kickoff. They're so buoyed by the performance. Cuts it back. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Bellingham. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Delaney. And it is a Dortmund corner. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure and finds the back of the net. It's a... Brandt. Excellent defending. Brandt. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Milinkovic Savic. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Milinkovic Savic. 
This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And when he gets... Milinkovic-Savic. Tremendous ball played through. Immobile finishing perfectly. Finishers are totally... We're now inside the... And he's made headway. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Okay, so it is time for us to go off for Erling Haaland to come on again. Our match rating is 8.7. We scored one goal. We had three shots on target. So I think we just got uh, one out of the three objectives that were laid out for us. I really do hope that we draw this match though. And we don't. We actually still lose the match. I, I have no idea what is wrong with the defense. Like, they were giving balls away so cheaply. But then the defense is supposed to do well, not do stupid stuff like what they were doing in this match. But still, things like this happen. I mean, yeah, speaking of things that happen, I actually happen to have four goals in the Champions League, which is crazy, if you ask me. And... It's really sad that we aren't able to be going all the way to the knockout stages of the Champions League because we have been sold to FC Braga. Is it FC Braga or SC Braga? Yes. We have reached level 10 and we have 12 skill points available. So let's look at what we want to do right here. Our short power is 82. So we have a... Weak foot, this one takes the weak foot up to, yo, I just did all of that and I, wow, I have no idea if I just, I just took my weak foot up to four and that is actually pretty good that I can do that. So for the heading accuracy, I'm just going to, do I need heading right now? I do not. This one is for volleys. Okay, let's just make that two. Then, I think that should be all for shooting for now. So let's come to dribbling. We need to, how how much does this cost? To get our skill moves to four, we need four points. For this, we need one. One, two. Now we need three points. So I might have just wasted it, but... This one is three points as well. So, I really don't know what I should do here. Hmm. You know what, I'm just going to go for this one and then let's see what we can use the last points to do. Attacking position, uh, yeah, we need to increase our ball control. This one costs one, so that is all for all of that. Let's look at the perks for now. We are 75 overall, which is really good. Oh, we have also opened up a second slot for the perks. So let's look at what we have here. Chance creation, boost passing abilities for all teammates, vision, passing, short, long, crossing, and curve. Okay. Uh, active first touch. Increases your ball control, acceleration, and sprint speed. The boost can kick in as the player approaches the ball. Interesting. I don't think I'll need that one. Increase the player's dribbling and skill move abilities when dribbling with a ball while also granting them the flare trait. I think I would want to have that one. Then uh, what else is here? One time shot. Increase your finishing ability during the one time shot or headers. Grant the finish shot flare. Flare outside foot shot and power header traits and increases your weak foot ability. You see this one is also really tempting. And this distance shooter, I think I might change it. I might I might go for this skill dribbler and this one time shot. But let's just keep looking at this one. This one is for defenders. I'm always look at that. This is all for defending. Okay, so this is what I, I'm going to do. I'm going to pick this one and put it 
over here and then this one is going to be for here so the distance shooter if that has got to chill for a, for a while i think i'm going to put it on the last slot if when it gets unlocked that's at level 19 that's a long time but then there might still be other ones i haven't looked at i really don't want to look at them right now but well i guess i'm happy with this we are a 75 overall striker and well this is great so we're just going to play one more match the match against vfl wolfsburg before we end the episode and well let's just see what the new traits and our new rating looks like okay so it's snowing in wolfsburg and well the snow is actually really annoying if you ask me because for some reason it just makes me feel weird not that it makes the gameplay different or anything i just feel weird with the snow on the pitch but oh well our match rating is sorry our match objectives are to get 7.5 take four shots on target and have a dribble success rate of 50 so this is the one i'm going to enhance and uh well okay there's a perk on top of our head I have no idea what that is but my player feels faster for some reason but i doubt i doubt that has anything to do with it delaney and now chan that's great goalkeeping well what a save that over it comes and he clears the danger And Bellingham, real chance, and a goal to open the scoring, a very bright start to this one. Well, just look at this, it's a good finish and reward for their pressure, they really have controlled this game. Marco Royce with the corner, well the clearance half-hearted. Emre Can. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered. This could square the game, but the keeper has a save. You're wondering about stoppage time. One minute to be added on. Well, he likes to run at them. Opportunity here. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Okay, so that was the match right there. Even, if, even though it's the first half, I'm going to be requesting for a sub now because my player is pretty tired. I think I'm going to have to start working on the stamina, if you know anything else. I, I got all of the objectives. So, I mean, I can, re I can request for a sub from here, right? Okay, yeah, there you go. Alright, so that will be the end of the match. Whew. And also the end of the episode as well. So let's just see if we are able to come home with the win. And yeah, we do. It's like whatever the score is when I say simulate the rest of the match is the overall score at the end of the game so we are able to get all of the manager three ratings this is the end of the episode so thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video peace